This podcast is rated R for restricted. Under 17 requires a company, parent, or adult guardian. Mission to 15. Welcome to the Mission 250 Filmcast, where we are watching the best movies ever made. You can go to our website, mission250filmcast.com, where we, the list is frozen. Go there and check out the upcoming episodes and all the previous episodes as well. I'm one of your hosts, Denny, and joining me are... John. And TC. And this week, we're back to the regular, struggling through movies. Ha! <laughs> wow. Uh, John, what are we doing on this podcast? Well, each week we uh, watch a movie. And we decide what movie to watch most of the time by uh, a list we froze in time a while ago, from uh, which is the top 250 movies as rated by IMDb users. And it's so pretty week, similar still. And we're going backwards, you know, from 250 to 1. Yeah. And someday we'll get there. One uh, day. One day. And imagine the and emptiness we're going to feel on that day. Oh, it's going to yeah. be pretty good. You know, yeah. it's going to be like, well, I don't have anything to do for this week now. I can relax. <laughs> That's right. Know. Hey, what um, do you want to watch, TC? Anything I want. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hey, they're streaming a new Kurosawa movie on Netflix. You want to watch that? <laughs> no. What? No. 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 Uh, Definitely not. So this week, yeah, we're watching Ron, which is a Akira Kurosawa movie made in 1985. The synopsis is, in medieval Japan, an elderly warlord retires, handing over his empire to his three sons. However, he vastly underestimates how the newfound power will corrupt them and cause them to turn on each other and him. And in the most... Yep. <laughs> Go ahead, Benny. <laughs> and yeah. for... Not to be too... I'm going to start with the positive on this one. I'm going to cut oh, it in half. Wow, I'm going to wow, cut it right in half. And then with I'm going to... With that sword, yeah, as it were. With the sword, and we're going to ah, splash yes. blood on the wall. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this movie is impressive in terms of scale. There's a lot of horses. There's a lot of extras. There's a huge battle scenes. Uh, there's a Holy lot of cow. wardrobe. In any given movie, you might have like one shot of a big old army like cresting a hill. Yeah. I think there were like four different t armies. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it was. Yeah, I'll get into the negative. But yes, there were many armies in this movie. Yes. But yeah, like all the, the, it was like painting, like the first shot of the movie when they were kind of on a hill with like the four guys and the horses and they're hunting the boar. I thought it was a painting. Like it, when it popped yeah. up on the screen, I was like, and then they started moving. I was like, holy fuck. I thought right. that was like yeah, a still image. Yeah. Uh, and there's a lot of it that looks like paintings and it's because it was storyboarded from paintings that Kurosawa made. So Right, by him. And they're beautiful. Yeah. If, you, if you look at them. He's, you can buy a book of them. He is a talented painter. Yeah. Uh, so there's there's a lot to be said about that kind of stuff. There are some parts of the movie that I really enjoyed, like like the violence for one. The violence is like pretty damn gory, which was pretty surprising. It was like to the level of Tarantino almost, like in Kill Bill in a couple mm -hmm. of scenes, specifically when he cuts the uh, that betraying woman. I, I don't know how he does it, but like he cuts her, and there's just like a hose of blood that just like sprays right. in the it's wall. A spray on the wall, yeah. Uh, and there were parts where like blood was just gushing out of people and stuff, and. There was one, I forget which one it was, but like one guy had like this squirt of yeah. blood that gives heart or something. Like, it had a hose definitely somewhere underneath his armor, just like yeah. shooting blood out of it after he died. That stuff was interesting. Uh, there were parts towards the end where they started talking about war and like humanity and things like that. When I was like, okay, this is not bad. But this movie, I had to pause like six times during it just to go to the Wikipedia page and like figure out what the fuck was going on. It didn't help that, like, when they introduced all the characters, they all looked one way, and then they jump cut without any transition whatsoever, like, years down the line, where they all had haircuts and changed their facial hair. Yeah. And, like, changed around. I was like, wait, who the fuck is everybody now? They all have these weird ball caps on with weird fake hair, fake bellies. Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> that was know. hard to follow. I agree. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah, and I couldn't get into any of the characters. Like, the first scene, there's, like, no character development in this movie. It's just, like, No, and, and I know, like, um... Subaru was supposed to be like the the good guy in a way, but he seemed like such a jerk at yeah. first that it was like I thought he was so, the bad guy, and then yeah, he was exactly. the good guy. What? <laughs> and then there was the uh, the Tango guy who's kind of kind of a main character, but I never really understood what his deal was because he was kind of like a coward in the beginning, but then he became a hero right. towards the end. Right. He was a good fighter, but I don't. But he was a servant. Like what the hell is going on there? I don't know. <laughs> uh, did Did you think that the jester was a boy or a girl? I thought it was a boy. No idea. I thought, I, and sometimes I was like, could it be a woman? Yeah, I think yeah, it I was. Thought, I thought it was a girl feminine. for most of the movie. I ended up looking at it up, though. I thought, I, I, I didn't really know, recognize. Yeah. Did you have the volume the turned down? 
killed, probably. Uh, you could tell when he talked that it was a boy. Yeah, because you could tell when he talked. Yeah, it yeah. was like I, a deeper I, voice. Yeah. Yeah. With the kids, you know, at the subtitles. It's subtitled anyway, but yeah. Right. Yeah. So it didn't matter. You were good. I know. I got to get those Bluetooth headphones. But then I can't hear if somebody screams, I mean, in real life, that I have to go run to. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they make anything you can, like, pump, like, pump it through the headphones or something. Yeah, yeah, but... No, anyway. not going to get it. But at least for him, like, he was interesting to watch because he would actually emote and stuff. I feel like oh, yeah. the direction on a lot, like, in almost every single scene is, like, stand stiff as a board and either, like, like whisper yeah. or yell your lines, but don't move, and then just stand there, and then we'll stay on it. Like, we won't cut. We won't cut anything. There will be no yeah. shortcut. It will be <laughs> no, no cut. cut. We're going to have horses yeah. running through a river, and it's going to take two minutes, and it's going to be one shot of horses going through a goddamn river. Out. But man, how did they do that? I know, I but mean, if they it, cut it down, it would have been more impressive, because it's just like, well, oh, wow, that's great. Okay. It's still it's good. It's going. <laughs> yeah, I guess they still did. Good. Yeah. Did no one edit this freaking movie? But man, imagine ma managing that. Holy cow. All the horses and getting them through a river. And there's, there's a behind the scenes of this movie called AK. It came with a Blu-ray copy. It made me appreciate the movie a lot more than I did when I watched it initially. Hmm. Uh, so I'm pretty conflicted on this one. Like, I did not enjoy it at all. I would never recommend it to anybody. Nope. Um, but its scale is really impressive. <laughs> That's and like that's about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just not, I'm not sure if we'll see anything of this scale. I mean, in terms of just the number of people in horror. I mean, Ben Hur was pretty impressive, but it wasn't as um, constant as this. Like that yeah, one scene I mean, was impressive, but this movie is like armies. Yeah, the entire exactly. Time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and there were 1,400 extras and 200 horses. So that's <sighs> fucking ridiculous. And they were all they shot the film like on Mount Fuji. So they were like on a mountain with all of Jeez. this shit. Yeah, so I mean, like, there's a lot of stuff. I have a lot of trivia on this. It's impressive, but it's boring. It doesn't make any sense. All right, who wants to go? All next? right, yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's about right. Yeah, you, you boring. Agree, what do you got, what do you got DC? Uh, yeah, I was bored to death. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, well, it's obviously not since you're still alive. <laughs> and even whatever. the uh, and even even the um, like the impressiveness of it, like. You just get used to it, and then yeah. it's still boring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's bad, right? Because that's got to be oh, hard to awful. do. Yeah. They're like, wow, look at all these people. That's crazy. So what are they talking about now? Yeah. Who so is that? Who did Wait, what? there's four uh, other so they, armies? What the fuck is uh, going on? Right. Is, okay. <laughs> oh, so we're up to, there's black now. Okay, there's black now. Okay. Right. I, I like yeah. the styles. They had some really cool, they're very simple styles. Very modern yeah. seeming. The like clothing? The like, all right. Well, the clothing, but I like like the symbols. It's like, all right, we got we got three lines. We got three slanted lines. That's us. That's who we are. Yeah. <laughs> you know, somebody else had like three wavy lines. I mean, the colors were um, cool. <laughs> but, I just like the style. Know. Yeah, the colors were cool. They yeah. won for a, yeah. an Oscar for costume design. Oh, the outfits, even like that tent at the beginning. And like you said, Denny, it, it seems it's just amazing. Like the set pieces, even how they were, you know, I've never seen anything like that. The way they had the, it wasn't a tent, but they had um, a, a like a cordoned off area. You know, it was kind of like a topless tent. Yeah, what is that for? Um, to like keep rabbits out or something? Like what would that no, defend against? For privacy. It's not to defend against anything. Uh, it's just to have a privacy. I so you can guess. like take a shit in the tent without a top on no, it? No, no, no. So you no, can have no. a meeting. So you can have a meeting know, and nobody can and see keep, you speak. Yeah, you can You can have the officers there but keep the riffraff out Yes, Denny, so you can take a shit. Yeah, I mean, come <laughs> yes. on. That's where my yes, mind went. What's this for? Is this a big toilet? Is that what no matter what. That's what it is. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> you want to shit in the mountain, you get behind the curtain, right? That's the You got to shit, just stay behind the curtain. That's right. Oh, David, I'm pulling the shit stuff out early. You know I'm desperate on this one. It's not good. Oh. Cool. Yeah. But wouldn't you be able to hear the secret conversations over the curtains? I don't You'd know, You'd be Denny. too polite to listen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. too damn windy up there. You're on a mountain. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't really have much on this one. I would rather have not watched it, but, uh, you know. Did you get through it in one sitting? It is three hours sure long. Sure did. You did. Good job, dude. Couple breaks. Got coffee. Naomi tried to watch it. She like walked out and then she's like, I doubt. Oh, yeah. She's like, if TC is ever to call a mulligan again after eight and a half, it's this one. And this I was like, That's one, probably yeah. true. Fair. It's so boring. Yeah. I mean, it really, and then nothing happens. So you're just sitting there like, wait, so, okay, they just hate each other. All right. So that's cool. We just spent, we just spent 45 minutes to come to the point of, um, they don't like each other. Wait, how much Got is left? Two and a half hours left. God, dude, I'd pause it and be like 125 minutes. <laughs> what? <laughs> I paused it again not too after long after that. Apparently, 80 minutes. <laughs> Dude, there Jesus. was that big battle. And like when they burnt the house down, and he walked out. And I was like, oh, yeah. that's pretty cool ending. And I looked and it wasn't even halfway through the movie. And I was like, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh my God. Well, I kept thinking to myself, like, 
well, so what? Now we got to go learn about the other people too? <laughs> like, so what? You just learn about one section, and then you got to go learn about the other section, and then you got to yep. go do it all over again. Yep. And then we talk about the dad who's fucking crazy for a bit. Oh, great. This guilt's so bad. Got it. Moving on. <laughs> no, not moving on. Not moving on. Next hour, we got to go through all of it all over again, and we got to bring up everybody again. Yep. Oh, my fucking God. Shoot me. <laughs> Yeah, this movie was god awful. I would, I would maybe boring. recommend this to people who like the parts of Game of Thrones that are outside of mm -hmm. the battles, which is most of that show, which is it's talking, talking, talking for an hour, and then like uh, politics, so politics, talking. names, 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 right. and then fight, a fight, and then fight for like betrayal. two minutes. Yeah, fight. and then yeah. Yeah, that people who love that might love this movie because that's all it is. There's like two two big battles, maybe. Yeah. And then there's lots some other random violence, but like lots of people staring yeah. into space. It's mostly yeah. like lots no of people sound. staring into space. Yeah, people yeah. sitting in a field and just like no one's moving. Just looking, the frame isn't moving. The wind is right. blowing. But my yep. goodness, it's amazing. The the I don't know, and, and yeah. maybe you just you get quickly get dull to it. I guess the epicness. I just of it, I got kind of angry. I mean, this is I'm gonna sound like a complete asshole, but I got angry at Kurosawa because I feel like his ego got to him on this one. Like he thinks uh, everything. I mean, he spent a lot of time. He spent ten years painting the storyboards this movie right, before he right. made it. So like he fell in love with every single frame he wanted so to no do. So no one could movie. edit this down. Nobody could yeah. edit you this down. You could edit it down. You could edit like No, 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 but hour. I'm saying he wouldn't allow it. Right, right, He'd right. Like sure. no way, we got to keep it all. Right. But I think that's I, that's why I'm a little bit upset at him cuz like he didn't No, I know. I'm, I'm on you. I'm backing you up. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean if he just if he just cut like every every single shot, cut it in half. Every every scene had too many shots. Yeah. Yes. And every shot was way too long. By a factor of two And there was more. no need for it for the story. Right. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I hated this movie. Um, <laughs> would rather have not watched it. And uh, I would never tell anybody else to watch it. Yeah. John. Wow. Well, I'm, okay. I'm a little more positive. I'm a little more positive than you guys. Good, good, good. I mean, good, I, mean good. I really liked, I just liked watching it even though it was slow. I just kept, it didn't, uh, the epicness of it didn't wear off on me so quickly. Wow. Um, so and it did idea, kind of just, slightly ramp up as it went on. Yeah, epicness. but I was just the the way every scene was so meticulously done and and I know that it wasn't it's not necessarily it's going to be about this great character development or whatever, but it uh the just the the sheer scope of it and scale, whether it was the buildings or the horses or the number of people or the intricate detail of the uniforms. Um but it Boring. took like it took, I know, <laughs> but it took years to make those Boring. uniforms, apparently. Dude, the uniforms were amazing. It's like some of the best Boring. uniforms I've ever seen. I know, yeah. Like I know <laughs> TC's Boring. cats loved them and thought they were big birds huh? or something. Um Oh uh, what? Wait, what? <laughs> or not TC's cats, Denny's cats. Oh, with the feathers and stuff? Uh, yeah, I love the yeah. feathers out of the backs. Yeah. And like the banners um, and shit. Oh, how they man. had to like ride with these big old banners yeah stuck, to make sure yeah. you don't like kill your own team or something i have to assume that's what that's yeah for. exactly possibly yeah uh so i just was amazed at the scope of it and i know that like the the one scene where they're burning the castle down that was like a real building they built they had to do it in one take and they one had like take. a thousand extras yeah. and they were burning a building fucking yeah, crazy, crazy. So, what about that one where the guy was getting run over did you yeah. see yeah. that there's Holy a cow. scene where there's yeah, like 15 people up. falling off horses yes. and it's just a this, montage this has, of people eating shit yes yeah <laughs> and, and yeah. it looked I don't know did they really do it because it looked dude, like they did they dude, really 100%, like they did 100% they like, like, did full yeah. gallop fall off horse that's your job Ed what? and not just like one shot they like kept cutting to the same like it looked like the same guy falling off in the same yeah. way just a slightly different oh, way man. eating Possibly. shit but that one dude that fell off and then got run over by the whole fucking yeah, yeah. I mean dude, I was like I rewound that he holy was, shit he broke his leg 100% of you course. can see his Had leg to. snap in half yeah. when that happens oh my god oh yeah, this this again holds the record for most people falling off horses. I guess maybe it was just one guy mostly. I don't know, but hey, that's what I do. I'm it. I fall off horses. Yeah, I fall off all horses, right. Get bro. in. All right, here. sign this paper. It says it's not our fault. Oh, yeah, okay. all right. Sounds good. Hey, that's okay. I've been falling off horses. My dad did that. This is what we do. We're Imagine here if for you. Like, yeah. Broke your arm at the top of a mountain. That's gotta suck. You gotta like oh. get down or something. Yeah, yeah you know. Mount Fuji. So but fucking, yeah, there, there's there's like <laughs> no seriously. no uh, yeah. That that was insane. Um, like, uh, but but that one battle sequence, I I thought was was really fantastic. Uh, and they're getting it's all shot quiet. from the woods. No, no, the, not that one. Yeah, that one was was no when oh, they're the first burning, one. Uh, the yeah, the yeah. one where they had gone to third castle. 
Yeah. Um, third and, castle. Oh, okay, we're at yes. third castle now. Okay, third castle. Here <laughs> we go. Third castle for the third act. Yeah. Oh, is this a long time boring? Yeah. Oh wait, wait. Oh, he yeah. doesn't like that. He got third castle. He want first castle. Okay. That's oh, where he want for, oh, yeah, you're right. This is like a Reagan <laughs> fucking bit right yeah. now. This is a total yeah. Reagan. Bit. <laughs> okay, yes. okay. All right. I just want third, third castle. Okay, yeah, I got third castle. What's it called? Third castle. We don't know. Third it's third castle. castle. Shut up. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Even they call it third castle. All right. So. <laughs> it's not like we weren't paying attention. That's hey, wait, they only have three castles and he has three sons and the sons didn't see this shit coming? Come on. Uh, they had I their mean, entire really. lives to think of this. But uh. that battle, that battle where <laughs> it's quiet until uh, Taro gets shot. I thought that was, that that was just, that, I wanted the dude. sound for that so bad. That dude. left an impression on me though. Really? But the sound okay. didn't come back in until he shot in the back. And I, I thought that was pretty amazing. I didn't notice um, that. Oh, you didn't? Oh, I was man. just irritated. I was like, man, this could be so cool. Like, I bet they fucked up the audio in every single one of these shots. So they just oh, had to, like, no. blanket remove the audio. I, I felt like I felt like after the way that resolved, that was the whole point. Like, the whole point is this Damn. battle is going to end with Taro that. being shot. You don't hear anything until you hear the gunshot. John could be making this up. He didn't even have audio. Remember? No, he's right. I'm thinking about yeah. it. No, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. Subtitles. No sound. The subtitles yeah. just parentheses. Yeah. No sound. No sound. Yeah. No sound. <laughs> no. <laughs> Still nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Not a peep. <laughs> Still nothing. My God, I hate my job. Parentheses. Am I broken? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, I thought that was brilliant. I, I, because I was like startled when the gunshot happened. I was like, oh, ah! I, I really like was was startled because I at first I didn't expect him to die so soon. Yeah. I felt like this was going to be, you know, it wasn't going to be about him. And it's like, ah, it's not over. Now we're going to have to move on. And yeah, and, we're going to have to sit through another hour and a half. Yeah, yeah we're going to have to hear Jiro's <laughs> story now. Uh, or Jiro, it. Whatever I wonder how is. Jiro's going to um, die. Yeah, <laughs> I wonder how yeah, Saburo yeah, is right. going to die. Let's work all that out. Um, I just appreciated. I mean, this movie is like epic, epic, epic. Every single thing is epic about it, uh, except for like I guess the character development, and the acting, I guess. But but everything else, I don't know the scope. And, I don't think and the, the acting is their fault. Done. No, this is how they w- were meant to be, right? This I think is this movie is exactly as he intended it to be. Yes, yes. So, so there's something I, to say about that, but I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's supposed to be entertaining, really. Well, yeah, I certainly. I don't know if it's entertaining, but it, I could sit there and like just appreciate the the meticulousness of it uh and and be okay with that and, and i i wouldn't necessarily i think if some if there's somebody that really likes looking at, at like epic war movies or or like just very meticulously put together shots and things like that where you just kind of can impre- appreciate sort of the complexity of it then i think this movie is worth watching and i mean maybe again with with all that said, then you might not enjoy the story or, or it just seems very simplistic in a way. Um, but I don't know. I, I appreciated it. I even I even liked the final shots of the blind man. Dude, when the movie uh, ended, I was like, what the fuck was that? What, is he, what was that about, though? John? Yeah, I, don't, I didn't understand it. Was I did I miss? Something I had to look entirely? it up. John, did you pick it up? Well, the, well, he's just the, the, the blind guy. He's just the the brother, the the one that um, square butt there blind by boy. himself. And he's all alone because he's got a his, his sister is dead. <laughs> square butt. Square he's butt. got a very square butt. <laughs> Blind boy. <laughs> it's just the, the way the clothes fit him. I don't. Anyway. No, his butt is square. Um, <laughs> it's a square butt. His butt anyway, is square. <laughs> I thought. I thought it was just the idea that you know. He's left blind and alone, and I mean that's just the end of the film. But <laughs> don't it's a leave me. I'm blind. Shot. No, 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 dude. Chill on this I'm cliff. Blind. Chill on this cliff, man. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm dead. Shit. <laughs> Anyway, I, I, I thought he I, I thought the movie was going to end with him walking off into that in off the cliff. That would have been basically. hilarious. Just, um, <laughs> really drive home the point that he indeed cannot see. Yes. <laughs> yep. Really blind. Oh there. shit! Yep. I thought he might have been faking it, but no, he wouldn't have done yeah. that. Uh, but it was still beautiful. A beautiful shot. I mean, the way it pulled back, and and you just saw him standing there, all alone, blind, by himself. On so a what's cliff. the point? Yeah. What is the point, I, I just, John? Explain it. I don't know. There's a point to that, just being like it, er, the, futil, the futility of it all. I don't know, or just how awful when you're everything blind? is. No, uh, everybody. You might that you might as well be blind and on a cliff and by yourself because <laughs> it because all you, sucks. everyone's gonna fuck you over anyway. So I, I appreciated it. I I would recommend it to some people who might like sort of like big epic scope kind of movies. I want to see you recommend this to somebody and like listen to all of the like. The defending statements you say to you, like, all right, well, if you don't like this kind of thing, I wouldn't necessarily recommend uh, it. Like, don't blame me if you hate it, because you might. Oh, no. I mean, I could just, I wouldn't necessarily, hey, go see it. I'd say, this is what I liked about it. You might like that, too. I don't know. 
Um, <laughs> or you could all. just go watch Lord of the Rings. Kind of the same thing, much better. Kind of the same, possibly influenced by, by oh, yeah, Kurosawa. Totally. That might be the other thing, again, with his works. Definitely Akira is always um, insanely influential, it seems. Yeah, you know, every and, single and, director is like, he's one of the best directors who's ever lived. Right. So so, so when you when you look at epic battles and whatnot, I'm sure that they look at the sort of thing and, and try to emulate that as well. Yeah, definitely uh, we can get when, when, if we ever do get to Lord of the Rings, you know, we, we certainly you have those sort of like epic battles of people preparing for war and, the, and whatnot and about to charge and um, all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, all of so, that. This really did convey, stuff. I mean, there was, during the war scenes, it seemed realistic to the point where like, Whenever you think of battle and like, I think of like Saving Private Ryan is probably the thing when I think of battle at war, it's like right. overcast and like bullets flying everywhere. Right. This was just regular people on a sunny day in a nice field running at each <laughs> other with swords. And you're like, Ugh. that is what most of it is. Right. Well, and some had guns. In this case, they had a lot of guns. Yeah. Too. But those guns were very short range. I would, I would have to. Well, yeah. I don't know, though. They were kind of shooting from the woods. They look like remember. rifles. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they, they had some range. Hunting rifles. But yeah, I, I so... I wouldn't watch it again. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. I'll say that. Yep. But I, I do. The real review. There you the go. The real yes. review is I wouldn't Would watch, I watch it, it again. again? Yeah. yeah. No. But I am glad I watched it. I still think there are scenes that stick in my head. And that one particular battle scene ending with the gunshot really was was impressive. That shot of him walking out with a burning building in the background was amazing. Yeah. I, I, hmm. So so when you think about the scale of it and the scope of, of just these scenes, let alone regardless of whatever else is happening or how long the movie was, just some of these scenes were spectacular. I, yep. I think it just gets lost with how long and slow it is. And how little you care about what's going on. Yeah, well, it, it's hard mm-hmm. to care because everybody is is awful and evil. And I don't know. I mean, a suburb is, is not supposed to be so awful or evil, but it just doesn't come across. Um, I mean, Lady, Lady Katie could be a really interesting character because she's, in fact, you know, getting revenge. But she's just so awful and, and nasty. <laughs> yeah, she you is. Know, that, that it, it's like it's hard to even side with her because of how awful and nasty she is. And her pants are so zippy. And I, I still don't know how I don't get how she gets what she wants just by screaming at people. The way I she, know. Like, hey, that sounds. Oh yeah, let's do that. Well, we better do it because we don't <laughs> want to hear that I, anymore. I, I, she's uh, crying. Bit, Damn it! I'll go kill somebody. Oh, I don't want her God, to cry better to take them off with the hat, the head. Yeah, yeah just, it's yeah, the cries that's it. or the screams. I'm I'm just gonna do whatever you say. I didn't like those two little black spots on her forehead. I was gonna say. Four eyebrows, eyebrows. really? Ooh, yeah, boy, yeah. Uh, just style at the time. No I, eyebrows I suppose, and, but, yeah. and high eyebrows. I right. don't know if I like high it. eyebrows. <laughs> very <laughs> yeah, strange, yeah. but it was very a strange. style, I guess. It's very, um, very creepy. Yeah. So yeah, I, I think like if you, if the characters were more interesting, this movie would have been fantastic. I, I, uh, if the story was more interesting. If yeah. anything yeah. was more interesting, dude. And well, that's, the, the story, the idea is really, the whole. Oh, the story and, is lame. It's fucking. How stupid How hard do you have to bullshit. fuck up to make this boring? There's so but many the old, epic. Yeah. The old man who's like the old man who's lived in by the sword and betrayal and just been awful and ruthless is now like you know he, he's going into retirement. He's kind of wanting his kids to do well, and then he's gonna and because of the life he's led, it's just going to breed more violence and betrayal because that's all he's done. That's cool. Hey, not cool, but not a good. That's thing. awesome. But it's interesting. It, it makes for an interesting yeah. setup, and and it's just too bad that I, I don't suppose. know that it just that as far as the characters go, it just didn't seem. I, I I agree with you guys. I mean, I didn't care. That just sort of made the whole movie difficult to watch. Then, if you don't really care about these characters, yeah, true, true. All right, on to trivia. Well, 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 well yes. said, John. <laughs> what do you got, Denny? Uh, uh, I, I have a couple things I wanted to talk about in the movie. Uh, yeah. you guys, I mean, John, we've had Saki multiple times together. Oh, uh, I love Saki. I love Saki. I wish yeah. people in this country drank Saki the way they drink Saki in Japan. In saucers? In saucers, and the jugs of Saki are fucking huge. Right, right. So you like, I guess you're going to, you do that, you're going to be drinking Saki for like five hours. Yeah, dude. I want to <laughs> sit in a cross-legged <laughs> position on one of those little mats and just have a jug of Saki and a plate. And a little saucer. Yeah, and just sit with my back straight up, seem very proper. I get to wear one of those awesome yeah. robes they have. I, I, I want all of that. Next time we get together, man, we'll we'll, we'll get some saucers. <laughs> we'll get some. What are they called kimonos, or is that like a woman's yeah, we, one? Well, I, don't know. I didn't know about the whole dress up part. That's yeah. more your thing. But, but I was more talking about the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> cold or hot, John? Cold or hot? <laughs> oh, hot. Hot. Please. Yes. Some, some but I, yeah, I know they probably good, drank hot, it hot, cold, hot. or but I love some hot sushi sake. too, and we're good. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, dude. Some of the cold stuff's pretty good. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather just, have it warm. Really? Yeah. It goes down easier. What if it's a, uh, a nice hot day? Yeah, well, then you want the cold, anyway. right? But I, I still love, I love uh, <laughs> hot sake. Yeah, it's so probably good. Yeah. Get into the hot. It is. It'll cool me down. It's so hot. 
Uh, yeah. Facial hair on the old guy. I thought the old guy looked freaking awesome the entire yeah, movie. He did. And his acting was interesting. Like, there were a couple people, like him, the Jester character, and that's it, maybe? The, those two characters, when they were on screen, were at least, like, emotive. They weren't, like, yeah. real looking. No, I didn't understand. I mean, her loyalty to him is strange and hard to understand. Wait, you say her? Um, her, his, sorry. I still think of it, uh, her, I still think as of the gesture as female. It's definitely she a was, guy. Definitely a guy. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, sorry. It's a, it's a dude. Um, uh, what yes. was, what was anyway, his name? Anyway, his. Kiyomi. His real name is PETA. He's only got, a, he's a one name guy. Hey, Uh-oh. one name man. Yeah. All right. P-E-T-A? Uh, P-I-T-A with the, uh, oh, okay. a little arrow over the I and a like little arrow bread. over the A. Uh, oh, nice. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Nice. Would you guys feel safe wearing that kind of armor, like going into battle? Would you feel better? No. <laughs> That's what they had, you know. I'm sure it helped a little. It probably was good for arrows, maybe. I don't know, Possibly. dude. Some of those guys were stuck like pincushions. I know. Yeah, the arrows always were freaky. Yeah. Would, get it, would mm. you rather die by the sword or die by an arrow? I don't know, mm. man. Or a gun blast. I think a gun blast would be best. Gun blast is not arguably best because it'd be whatever is fastest, right? You'd think arrow might be slower than sword. Because plus, like are arrow, you can make it hurt more. Like a gun, a bullet will go in, and that's kind of like the end of the pain. Yeah. Well, not the end of the pain. Sword, like, like if they just like stab you in the heart, then that's good. You're gone, is it? right? No, yeah. your brain's gonna stay alive yeah. for at least fifteen seconds. Uh, oh, how about they cut off your head? Good. No, because then you're alive. No. You want to be stabbed in the brain. I want him to go straight into the temple. <laughs> oh, you want to go right, into right. the brain? No, no, yeah. no. You want to go in the back then. I think the back oh. is where you want. The back of the head is what you want. Maybe oh, like yeah, a yeah, bullet yeah. to the head. That's yeah. the best. Maybe like... Yeah, I'm taking others. notes, Danny. Okay. So we'll, we'll remember. <laughs> when, when it comes to our final battle, I'll try to, I'll try to do you a, a solid, you know. <laughs> he wanted to go out quick, you know. Yeah, he wanted well, to go it, out know, quick. It's, I, I don't know if it's real evident with this podcast yet, but it's going to come down to you and me, I think. Me and you battle? Yeah, probably. I don't know. Yeah. TC yeah. made it through this one. Laughing he showed, and laughing. He showed some yeah, real I, backbone. I think TC's going to just be laughing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at me. I'm not helping. Uh, you know, that type of shit. <laughs> <laughs> use the gun, John. Use the gun. Hey, dude, I told you, use the gun. What are you doing with the knife? God damn it, John. Yeah. Uh, uh, did either of you get that Gord in the Wind song that the jester was singing to the old man that like got him in trouble? No, a couple it times? seemed like they were. That's like a really fucked up thing to be singing. Is it? It seemed like they were definitely making fun of people. Well, they were just making Which fun one of the new leader. Or unless I'm thinking how, about how the other song, like wishy washy. Is that what you mean? No, what, he was the like sway to the left, sway to the right one. That one or no? Yeah, was that the one? No, it was before that. It was oh, like, oh, oh, okay, yeah. never mind. I didn't understand any uh, of the songs, and like he would sing them, and it was the lyrics were so weird. And I was like, is this supposed to be? kind of about something else that's going on in the movie, but I couldn't figure it out. One of them I wrote down was like, Gord in the Wind. I was like, what? what is the Gord in the Wind? What the fuck is he yeah, talking about? You just Gord, gord the wind, in man. the Wind. All right, I gotta pause wind, it. Dude. I gotta go to Wikipedia again. All right, 20 minutes later. All right, they fought the battle in Third Castle. All right, Third <laughs> Castle burned down. Okay. All right, I guess <laughs> I do follow out where you were. Yeah, I thought I was missing something the entire time, and I was like, I guess You literally need, like, investigation for each scene in this one. Jesus. Yeah, it was... De- at first, it, it, did, it did sort of, like, dull the... I was confused with the Third Castle battle, because, like, who are these guys? I mean, are they all ganging up just on him? Because he only had, like, 30 guys. Yeah, why are they all against him? Why can't they just let him be? <laughs> let the old man be. Let it be. Also, the scene where they were in the field and somebody made an alliance with, like, two other castles out of nowhere. Like, how many fucking castles are there? Give me a map so I can have a basis of what the hell is going on. But they just, like, call two other castles over and they surround them on the mountains, which looked awesome. But I was like, what the fuck? Who are these people? Yeah, right. Why are they siding with him? What are they doing? What is the end game? I don't understand the motivations of any of this. Yeah, yeah, we have no understanding of what's going on there. Why do they (laughs) want to get the old guy as a pawn? I don't understand anything that's going on. All right, they're fighting now. Okay, fine, fine. They're going to die. Oh, that guy died. And then the father died on him. He died on him. Okay, they're both dead. Cool. All right, Everyone how many do we have did. left? I can't even remember which brothers are alive anymore. Yeah, right. And then it's 80 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. How is there 80 minutes left? Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the bald caps were terrible. Do you guys agree? Yeah, they me? weren't yeah. great. Yeah, they I, weren't yeah, great. They weren't too good. I know. It's like yeah. the, the skin color on their face and the skin color on the top of their head was different. Normally, too, when they're bald, you see stubble or something. Yeah. Like there was a couple of people that were actually bald or actually had shaved or whatever, but yeah. To the point where I was distracted by it, every single scene they had it in where I thought maybe it was a style back then where they 
where they purposely shaved their heads bald. Because when you're bald like that, your hair doesn't grow like on a perfect line. It's not thick at the line, right? It's right. like it gets thinner as it goes out. But the way the hair was in this movie, it was like no hair, no hair, no hair, regular hair. There's like a line. <laughs> right. Mm. <laughs> so I don't know. Very distracting. Bald cap. Yeah. Very obviously a yeah. bald cap. Do you guys remember in uh, Throne of Blood, the zipping pants? Uh, no. It's something, there was like a shot in Throne of Blood where like, I don't know, there was like a scary woman that like zipped into a room into complete darkness and she came out, like went out of sight and then came back in within the same shot. It was like zip, 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 zip into a dark room and then back out and it was kind of creepy. Uh, I don't remember that. So there's, uh, they definitely focus on the zipping noise on this and I would bet that there is zipping in every single one of Kurosawa's movies. That's my guess. Oh, is that his thing? I'm going to keep it track. Zipping? I'm keeping track. Yeah. All right? Just putting that well, out there. We've got a guys. number more to see of his, we right? We do. There's a Kiru, which is next week, and then there's Seven Samurai. Is there more? Oh, nice. We got back to back. Akira. Back to back, wow. TC. Shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the scene, this, this might be pointless asking you guys what the points of scenes were, but there was a scene where Lady Katie, is mm-hmm. her name really Lady Katie? <laughs> Katie, or is that Katie? the lunatic? Yeah, yeah the lunatic Katie? one with the yeah, high I eyebrows. I don't know. How, I don't know how to say it, but yeah, high eyebrows, high man. eyebrow, lady. Yeah. eyebrow girl. Yeah, eyebrow. She's There's eyebrow. Scene... <laughs> <laughs> nice. There's a scene where she is threatening her affair person. I don't know which one it is. It's yeah. like the, the so, so middle that's son. Probably well, right, middle it's Jiro. Jiro. Yeah, yeah, it's Jiro. She's threatening Jiro, yeah. and she pulls her dresses under sleeve hanging thing out, and she like stabs it with a knife. Right, she like shreds her own sleeve. Why does she do yeah. that? Yeah, well, I didn't understand that either. So if anyone's I think got any she was making insight. it clear how she could just mess Stab? it up. <laughs> yeah, and she's, she's like, like, I can like, use a knife. Look at how sharp the blade is. <laughs> That's what I kind of thought. I thought she's fabric. like, look. I think it was like just just to emphasize the point about how she could just shred him. That's what I had settled on, but I mean, that's wow. pretty stupid. But that was not. I didn't get that. Yeah, yeah. I just pretty- was confused. As to, I'm like, this girl's a nut. <laughs> she's just nuts that's all I'm getting from yeah. this maybe that's all it was just to show how crazy she was because ultimately she's the reason why a lot of this is all falling apart yeah her revenge is also the reason why it's all fucking it's such a fucking mess but I feel like it it happened exactly the way she wanted it to go yeah right but otherwise yeah. she would have run no, she could have just like chilled and not Again, done that I wish she was more likable because she could have been a hero of this film but which she I was just liked. a piece of shit but, but I don't know, dude. If, you're, the, if your family you gets bring killed, the head back, salt it so he could continue to that look at cool. it. That was cool. I shut like that line. Yeah. yeah but then, then that scene lasted for one. five more minutes. You know how like, shook she was when, she, when the <laughs> fucking fake head was there and she was about to look at it thinking it was the real one? Hey, she was scared. Yeah. yeah. That scene I thought worked in terms of the length because like they were yeah. opening it and I was like, oh, fuck, are we about to see a head right now? Head, that would right, be gross. I know. Yeah. That other dude had a pretty good dialogue too, right? It was just like, oh, what? It's a fox. He's like all oblivious. Yeah. Even though he knows exactly what he's doing. I liked around, him. You know? um, yeah, that guy was that guy was good. He was just yeah, like a dick to He's like, dude, I'm not listening to you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't Why give a I shit about you, you or yeah. your fucking ideas or anything. I'm not doing it. I'm not afraid of yeah. you. I'm a goddamn ninja. You're not sleeping with yeah. me, so that's not above me. Like, why would I listen to you? You're crazy. Right. Right. Yeah. He was actually, he was he was pretty likable. And he was the guy that shot. I like I liked him too when he was the one that shot Toro and he's like, meh. Actually, that was I, that was the only time I laughed in the movie too. Where where Jiro was like, "You shot him? No, I didn't. You shot him? No, I didn't." And he just like throws the gun down. And it's like, well, whatever. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. It's a, you know, unfortunately, Prove it. you know, sometimes you get hit in battle. It happens. Yeah. What did you guys think about the scenes where they were inside without the giant stuff, and then like symmetrical framing and like the? It seemed. Yeah, I asked the I question. Still liked I, it. <laughs> I, I mean, not quite. It wasn't always quite symmetrical, but I for a while I would like just again, everything seems so well put together, even inside in terms of like where things were hanging. And as you say, Denny, things were often symmetrical or not necessarily quite symmetrical, but you could tell that the, the, the set was symmetrically done. The camera might be a little bit off or something, but for a while I could appreciate it. But then things did kind of go pretty slow there. <laughs> Uh, I'm just glad that every time you're like, no, it was actually really impressive until it was just boring. Yeah, well, I try. Yep. Yeah. That's just what it is. Unfortunately for this movie, it's just boring. And to those people who watch this, like, this is not one of those movies, I would say, like, like Persona, where I'm just like, I hate it, you know? Fuck Persona. But this movie, it might be for some people. I would agree with you, John. And I feel bad for those people that might be listening and like, they're like, I like that movie. I can't believe they all disliked it. Sorry. <laughs> it's not. I might uh, be feeling far between. Yeah, it's not, it's definitely not bad. 
Yeah, you know? I don't even it's think I just good. liked it. I still think it's interesting. I think when you sort of add some of these other things, like it's Kurosawa's like one of his last, I think it is his last epic yep. movie, and how he might be sort of feeling like he's an old dinosaur who's now being like betrayed by by the younger generation who maybe he influenced. I, I don't know. I, I think that is all add sort of an interesting Ooh, twist to it. Thinking as deep well. there, John. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so I, I, I did you read I that online or did you come up with that yourself? Um tell the truth. I'm trying to think. Uh <laughs> I can't I remember if that, it's an original idea well, or no, not. I don't remember if I read that explicitly. I do remember like that he was like having a harder time getting film the films he wanted made, and he was feeling like he was now more of an outcast. So you could kind of draw some easy lines there in terms of feeling like that you're sort of like you're you're old and you're no longer like you're no longer at the top of your game or whatever. Well, um, right, because did and, you and watch how you this might movie? feel about the people? Dude, that he are was like he was you. legally yeah. blind when he made this movie. Oh well, yeah, no, shit! Really? That's probably why the edit was so yeah, shit. He, he yeah. was like seventy five, right? <laughs> 76, Jeez, he, yeah. gave, he doesn't even yeah. know what scene they're on. He's like, that looks he good. No, he had to have someone, he had to have the uh, the the DP tell him how it looked. He's like, all right, I want like this and this. And he's like, it's kind of like if that I right do now. this when I'm, well, I don't know what kind of, what kind of like maniac you have to be to still pull this off when you're 75. But Scorsese. Still, it's impressive. So maybe well, that's the reason why, you know, he's just so know. far Scorsese gone. Scorsese can be lazy. We've seen him be lazy. Oh, so, fuck know. you, John. <laughs> I say it, man. Him and Leo, they never fail me. The, oh, really? Really? Yeah, dude. I love he, him he and Leo. Like, what, God, what, was that, what was that film we watched? The remake one where it really was seemed very lazy. Um, remake one. Not The Departed. We haven't watched that one yet. No, no, no. The, not The Departed. We did watch. Didn't we watch both of them yet? Not The Departed. Departed's like really high up there. We watched, oh, is uh, it the sec- we watched the original Departed. No, but oh, Shutter Island. That was lazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. didn't like Shutter Island. Ha, right. See? Well, Leo was great, wasn't he? He's so good. Man, he acted the <laughs> shit out of that movie. <laughs> yeah, right. He was running around those mountains just like being real concerned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was. I'm concerned. I'm suffering. Look at my eyebrows. Look at my furrowed brow. I'm suffering, <laughs> man. And then Buffalo is just like, you're like, hey, Buffalo, can I run my hand through your hair, please? I just want to see how <laughs> snarly it is. Can I do that? Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Hey, hey whatever. Buffalo. Hey, Boston, whatever. <laughs> hey, Buffalo, can I hey, pay Buffalo. you? Hey, hey, Buffalo, come yeah. here. Come here a second, Buffalo. Hey, come on. Talk to me, Buffalo. <laughs> That's a good Buffalo. Come here, boy. That's come a here. good Buffalo. Let me come and run your head to my head. Oh, you're hungry, huh, boy? Oh, oh there Buffalo. you go. Here, boy. Here, boy. Here, boy. Here, boy. <laughs> buffalo. Oh, you right. get arrested. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and you're like, ah, this guy's out of his fucking gourd. Yeah. 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 He thinks like I'm a, a gourd dog. in the wind. I can't wait to meet Buffalo. Buffalo. Uh, someday. Uh, Marky B. Then we walked through the room at one point and said, what's up with that dude's butt? <laughs> That's a square, <laughs> that square butt. butt? The square yeah. butt? Yep. You know what I was talking about? Because his butt was weird. It was, well, he was, it was in, I think he was dressed like as a woman or something. I don't know. Maybe that's how you dress when you're blind. I don't know. Ah, uh, blind butt. Blind butt. <laughs> oh, this, so this is, this is some of my notes. Old dude. So it's just like questions. Old dude jumps off cliffs. Oh, that one was. That, that one was. Yeah, he should have no been way. dead. He's, yeah, he, he should have been, been fucking. Dead. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. just sunk into the sand. He just. Yeah, he just fell down this awful yeah. rock I'm all right. formation. Get out. Right, of here. Yeah. No, you're dead. <laughs> jumps off cliff. Sees shit. Runs away. Jester chases. Just writing down how this movie goes. There's one thing where it's like Sapporo gets shot by who? Then everyone abandons them. <laughs> then father dies. Jester cries? People came back? None of this makes sense. Wow, that's almost poetic. Father dies, Jester cries. <laughs> that sounds People like a come song. back? Like, <laughs> when he died, I was confused because everyone kind of just walked away, and I was like, wait a minute, weren't they with an army? Did they, I didn't know who killed him. That was very confusing. I had to look that up. I had to look up the sister, Lady Sue, how she died. Dude, I don't even remember that part happening in the movie. Oh, but she died because uh, Lady Katie still had one of her assassins go get her. Yeah, but when did that happen? Oh well, you don't. I don't. You don't see it happening. You only it's all see behind the head scenes, coming man. back. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. You see the head. You see the little head package, right? Ah, uh, that head package thing was so confusing. And they opened it up, and I, and then they showed it, and I was like, "What is that?" And then it cut, and I was like, "What the fuck was that?" God damn it! Back to Wikipedia. Wow, that you did way too much work for this. I always, I, like, I always do that. I never have to what do is, it though because it usually what makes is sense. That? And yeah. then nothing, and then just. Could you kept tell what watching. that was, John? No, but I do. I knew that that was her head at How? that point because that's what we already saw it where it was the fox the first time where it was the joke and everything. So then it's like, all right, now this is the head. That that stream of logic you just said doesn't make any sense to me. How is but that? Was it salted? 
<laughs> was well, it pretty? It was the same kind of packaging. That's how you, that's how you package the severed it head. Could have been you oh, another fox. So John's head. got research here. Or it could have yeah. been no, anybody no, else's head. Saying, no, no, it was Lady Sue's head at that point. You know, I I did anyway. I I was like, yeah, okay, that's Lady Sue now this time. Look, Danny John knew it sucks that you I didn't, knew it. but I knew John it. knew it. So yeah. well, I mean, I guess you they give you enough. You don't have two there. foxes. You only get one fox. You yeah. only get one fox, Denny. Right down. Then you get down. the real Note deal. That. Real deal. Yeah, you get the real that. deal. Right. You get one fake, one real. That's how it works. Yeah. Yep. I like the line where uh, they're getting like overrun in the castle, and some of the bodyguards are like, "My lord, prepare to die," and then they run off, yep. and you're like, "Jesus Christ, they're all <laughs> going to get slaughtered right now." Yeah. Yep. That worked. It did. I thought those scenes were good. I, I mean, I, I, that whole battle scene was was pretty intense. I thought. Yeah. So, John, explain to me the end, because there's a battle, there's yeah, a battle, there's a I, battle, I, I don't and know then the it end. cuts to a procession of, like, it looks like the winning team is sad, and they're marching away, and then it cuts to the blind guy, he drops the scroll, and then the movie ends. I'm mo- more thinking about, like, the, the cut between the battle and the march that lasts six hours, something like that. Yeah. I'm getting real negative, I'm sorry. But do you, under- do you understand okay. that? I didn't. I don't even remember who the procession was. Who was in the procession, really? So it's like it was like the I second think, I think shot. It was like I thought it was Subaru. Subaru's uh, guards um, were carrying them, right? So that's Subaru, uh, Subaru, and and his father, right? And they're sad because they like those people. They like Subaru anyway. Okay. <laughs> so so he got uh, shot. He got killed by snipers. Snipers. Um, a sniper killed him. And so, you know, right as his dad was like going to, you know, was all excited about making up with him. Uh, so that was the tragedy there. And then you just leave with you in the scene with the character who's even more pathetic and in a terrible situation. He's blind and alone. And he's just I should have stayed in my there. shitty house. Yeah, I should have stayed in that dark, stinky hole. <laughs> yeah, he looked pretty clean for a blind guy living by himself in the woods. I'm going to say that. How did he wash his clothes? Uh, I, I I don't know, Denny. That's a fabulous <laughs> question. <laughs> sitting on a square butt. Yeah. yeah. I bet the square butt's pretty good for sitting, butt square, man? It <laughs> takes a lot of work. Hey, man, I fold that shit daily. Dude, you're ripped. Your butt is so square. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't understand the ending. So I, I looked it up on Wikipedia because I was like, when, it, when mm. it started rolling credits, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. I was like pissed. Even after three Even hours. You like, went two three hours. You're like, there's got to be more. It yeah. doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> Why, why would you end it on that character? He's such a small part of this movie. It's not about him at all. I guess it kind of is if you think about it. No, I, I just thought that it's a sad, it's just a person in a really sad situation where there is no hope or help. And so that that's just, I, I felt like that sort of like wraps it up nice enough. I mean, that's just like. that's all yeah. of the characters? Yeah. It's everybody is like completely helpless yeah. and, and doomed. Like, and, and all of these characters were doomed right from the start, you could argue. So I, I think that that's not a bad ending. Would you have to argue? That's what I, I mean. But can't the fair. blind guy right. turn around and go home somehow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, he's the, at least got, he at least has a potential. Like, the rest of them are dead. Yeah. Yeah, he's at least alive. He can I always, mean, he like, can turn around. He doesn't have to keep going forward. <laughs> <laughs> he should have left, know. like, a string from his house. So he could have grabbed it and walked back if he needed to. Right, right. That's what they're all thinking about. Yeah, yep. string. Mm-hmm. Do you know mm-hmm. what the title mm-hmm. means in Japanese? No. TC, what would your guess be what the title means? Uh, don't have one. <laughs> not, not even going to humor <laughs> me. Not even going to try. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's chaos. Chaos. Yeah. Okay. So, fitting, kind of. Right. Yeah. I got a lot of trivia on this movie, guys. I can try to blast through it. Uh, yeah, sure. I would recommend, I don't know if either of you rented it from Netflix, but there's a Blu-ray that has a, I don't know if you'd call it a documentary. I'm not sure if you've seen anything like it. It's kind of like a, a wordless visual documentary on the making of the movie. It was like an hour and a half. It's called AK for Akira Kurosawa. And it was just behind the scenes footage of this movie. And it barely had any dialogue. It was mostly huh. just like filming Kurosawa and like behind the scenes of the movie and shit. And it made me appreciate the movie a lot more. Because like there's like one specific shot stood out where you have over a thousand guys in medieval armor or, what, or not medieval armor, but you know, like ancient armor looking really good. So many people walking through a construction site with cars and horse trailers and construction equipment going to like, you know, the set they built on Mount Fuji. Pretty freaking crazy. I haven't seen anything like that before. 
So I don't know, man. The scope is insane. Right. Of the project, yeah. yeah. The way Kurosawa directs is that he rehearses and rehearses and rehearses for hours. Like he'll rehearse for days. Like with these filming. hundreds of people and horses and my God. Well, so he does he keep rehearsing. All right, cross the river again. Well, he'll, right, he'll do, do it again. He'll block the scene exactly for some reason, which is so weird because like it's not that important, especially because everyone's so rigid in this movie, you know? It's like he, he wants people to be exactly where they are, doing exactly what they're doing at all times. Oh. He like he talked about people's posture. He talked about their volume of their voice. He talked about like the the pitch of their voice. He's like, you're saying it too high pitched. Lower the tone of your voice, but keep it at the wow. same volume. He said like the locations, the facial expressions, the timing of when they're going to say it, like how long to pause. He was controlling everything, and it came hmm. across like he's kind of a crazy person. Like if he wasn't, yeah. I don't know. That's like micromanaging to the max. Is that a good thing? You saw the movie. Yeah, I, I, I don't think so. We, I remember liking Throne of Blood, though. Yeah, we, I think we, we all like Throne of Blood a little more. Yeah. It, seemed, it seemed more uh, spirited. I mean, I, I think that the, the characters seemed more interesting and, and it lively. Was, it was like scary in a couple of points, yeah. too. It was very different than anything we'd seen at the time, too, I think. Well, it was like five movies in, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the time flies, guys. Three years later. We're still wow. watching the movies, guys. This is like two and two and change. Yep. Uh, he had like the same crew for most of his movies. The set decorator loved doing his job, and he would go like above and beyond what he needed to do. He would go so far in certain scenes to fill drawers with things that he knew weren't going to be used because Kurosawa was like so specific on where people went and stuff. But he still filled things with things to make it look like more lived in, I guess. Which doesn't make sense because it doesn't. Nothing really looks lived in, I guess. Is that good trivia yeah. or is that bad trivia? Is that bad trivia? It's decent trivia. Decent trivia. It's trivia. Yeah, there were parts where like, I don't know, there were shots of the people in the soldiers' outfits just sleeping in the dirt on the side of a mountain. Hundreds of people laying on the ground. No pillows, no nothing. Just laying down on the ground because they had to wait for the weather. The weather was a huge issue. They're on the side of a mountain. I don't know how big Mount Fuji is, but it's fucking big. And they had like rain. They had fog. Sun was bad. Like they needed... Only overcast. That's what they wanted. And they would wait for it. And they would all get there and they would dress up in the morning. They would get the horses out of the trailers super early. They would get all the lighting rigs and scaffolding and they'd set up for the shot. And then sometimes they would sit there all day in their outfits and nothing would get done. Damn. And that happened a lot. Ah. Yeah. I mean, it looked miserable. Like the behind the scenes shit. I mean, this movie was not fun to watch. It looked horrible to make. Like everyone was super serious because it was like Kurosawa and he's like the best director of all time and it's probably his last epic movie and it's the biggest budget Japanese movie ever to be made and there are thousands of people there and you got horses and you got castles Jesus. built on Mount Fuji and everyone's just like don't fuck it up and no one's smiling <laughs> and everyone's sitting around waiting for the weather to get right and it's just like I bet he felt pretty good about it just because like he got through it it seemed like a real test well, yeah true who, who would do this why would you right, do this right. it's a hell of a feat yeah yeah he was blind uh, the footage of him watching the actors act, he was, he had to be told like where the edge of the frame was and he would walk to the edge of the frame and lean in with his glasses and just be staring at the actors' faces as they did the takes. Wow. That's got to be distracting, right? <laughs> as I an think actor. so. Yeah. Here's a film trick, TC. You put cement powder on the ground and when horses walk on it, it makes it look cool. Cool. Just in case you're ever filming a horse movie and throw that tip in <laughs> Yeah. <on. laughs> nice. Right. That's kind of cool. It was kind of cool how they did the film. I mean, they were the crew was huge, uh, but everyone would chip in to do certain things. Like there was a shot of them putting the cement powder everywhere, like on the side of the mountain where they were going to shoot, and everyone was doing it, including Kurosawa. His like his old self was just had this heavy bag of cement, dumping it on the side of a mountain with everyone Weird. else. Ugh. They did a lot of stuff like that. Just like everyone helped set up the scaffolding. If if they couldn't like if everyone was waiting for something to happen, they would just like all help out and set up things together. It wasn't like, all right, right you, don't you, just stand you, around. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There were parts where they were waiting for the wind, like the flag parts. Whenever someone had a flag, they'd have to wait for the wind. Hmm. Wow. It's not flapping. Everyone just chill until the wind starts. Yeah. Right. Until it starts. <laughs> there was a deleted scene where he made everybody walk around a field and spray paint grass gold. Jeez. And then they oh, right. They cut that scene out, though, right? They did. 
But there's footage of that scene in this documentary, AK. He spray painted the whole field. Yeah. Spray- why did why was it what was it like a dream sequence or something? Uh, the the shot they they took. So they spent all day spray painting this field. Uh and then they walked, it was like the jester and the father. Uh the father looked like passed out on a horse and the jester was leading him through this field. And it was at night. And it was just them walking. Like they did one take of them walking across this field, and he was like, cut. And then they all went home. And then they cut it off, and then the they left it on the ground. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, I don't get it. Something dark. In 1923, there was an earthquake in Japan that killed a shit ton of people. And then right after the earthquake, a lot of the Japanese people blamed the earthquake on Koreans. So the Japanese people went and massacred Koreans. Kurosawa oh, was 13 years old when this happened, and his brother led him around the city the next day and showed him all the dead bodies and told him that, like, if you look away from scary things that are more frightening, you have to look at them, like, straight in the eye. So we showed his 13-year-old brother around to, like, you know, hundreds of dead massacred bodies by a bunch of, I don't know, crazed Thanks. Japanese. So that affected him. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, they talked about Ooh. that for a bit. They talked about how he hates violence, how he wants to always show it as, like, horrible as he sees it in his head. Uh, he spends a lot of time on, like, the bodies and things like that. And it kind of shows, right. like, the, the piles of bodies in yeah. this movie. They look... No, he, he, does, he does not glorify violence. Yeah. Well, does he? That hose uh, blood shot was kind of glorified. I, I mean, I don't see anybody... It, it, does, it seems more horrifying. I don't, I don't see it as being like, yeah, we got him, That's all true. right! Yeah. Kind of thing. I mean, it's over the top, but it's more. still, like, not fun violence. No. There's, there's, even the people doing it aren't having a great time. Yeah. Mm. One of the coolest shots in the making of was uh, the archers were real and the flaming arrows were real. Like setting up the shots where everyone was firing Damn, flaming right. arrows. Damn. There are yeah. people in there, man. Yeah. There's people they had around. To be That's careful. crazy. <laughs> yeah. Watch out. All right. Flaming arrows, guys. Hey, make sure flaming you arrows. Up. There's fire coming your way. <laughs> and it's on the oh end of a goodness. pointy stick. Be careful. Oh, we're not liable if it hits you. We yeah, you signed, signed that document. Sure. You signed that. Like right you there. You signed it. Flaming arrows, not responsible. <laughs> right Sorry. there. Sorry. Read the fine print. Like the big thing says horse injuries, and then the fine print's like fiery yeah. arrows. You should have read the right. thing before you signed it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have. Nice. Yeah. Easy question. TC, would you put it on the top two fifty? No. John, would you put it on the top two fifty? I might. You might. Go on. Yes. Talk through it. Talk through it. No, you're just gonna do it. No. Well, Why I, would you? I just think the scale of it, um, and. It's just, yeah, I, I, I was just very impressed by the scenes and the scale of it. I think that it's worth seeing for that if you're, if you like this sort of thing. So I, I probably would. Yes. Wow. Ah, oh, wow. John. Yeah. It's going to go the Johnny artsy boy. style over there. Jeez, yeah, going dude. for that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You, you guys, you guys probably wouldn't understand. So that's why I'm no, really right. No, definitely I would, not. I, no, I definitely would understand. not understand. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I do yeah. not understand. I was excited no. for these two movies. Now I fear next week's movie. Um, yeah, I'd go no. I think you have to try pretty hard to make a movie this epic be boring. That's all I have to right. say. Right. That's yeah. But yep. that's a good way to put it, Denny. I'm going to let next that go. Week, right there. <laughs> we're watching another Kurosawa movie. It seems like a different kind of movie. So, okay. The, it's called the Kiru. Try and in, give it a nice, you know, full start. Yes. It's, it was an older one, 1952, one of his earlier ones. Uh, the synopsis is a bureaucrat tries to find a meaning in his life after he discovers he has terminal cancer. Different oh, yeah, kind sounds of movie. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, wow. buddy. And there's horses and fire arrows? Yes. No, but there's there 1950s. You guys got anything else for this episode? Nope. Nah. Nah. Next, bring it on. Next, we'll, we'll do it. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, uh, we'll brave it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what's the next distraction movie coming up, guys? Yeah, TC, <laughs> you, got, you got anything in mind? No. All right. Nothing? Nothing. Just set waiting for uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I wonder. Yeah, I wonder much. if we should do Captain Marvel. Fuck no. <laughs> well, but that's going to wow, set up Captain the. Uh, the it, it sets up the Avengers, the final Avengers, which we definitely should do. Ooh. Oh, does it? It sets it up. Yep. Uh, yep. Wait, aren't they coming out like at the same time? Yeah, but you know, in the Avengers and in Infinity War, the very last that little icon that's being flashing. Oh yeah, yeah. Is that's Captain Marvel being called? Yeah. Uh, you know right. you're not nerdy enough when you don't realize that what, that's what it is when it happens, right? I had well, to look no, it I had to look it up. Yeah, but yeah. So I don't know. I I I throwing it out there. Did you ever see it in Infinity War, TC? Yeah, 
Oh, nice. Yeah, we, we reviewed it, idiot. Oh, yeah, fuck, Jesus Christ. <laughs> we watch a lot of movies, John. God damn it. That's all right, Denny, right. I didn't remember either. I was like, yeah, yeah no, I saw it. Yeah, I saw it. I don't remember when, but I definitely saw it. Oh, I remember yeah. we had a guest host. Yeah, it was a I remember thing. I went to yeah. a thing. I remember I went to the theater. Yeah, we had, we had one bat. He did Civil War with us, yeah. and it got us all excited. To Man, go I got to go see a movie. And it was the good. Theater. Yeah, yeah. The theater. Yeah. The theater. It's nice. Yeah. It's and it's nice to see those. I, I don't know. We went and saw Buffalo. We went and Gotta saw. I saw Buffalo. Yeah. But I saw Aquaman in the theater. I really enjoyed it. Really, I was happy. Oh, I was happy to be there. It was fun. How low? Right. How low a bar did you set for yourself before you watched it? Uh, it was it was fairly low, but I, I thought actually <laughs> the action sequences were really good. The the battle sequences were really good in that film. Oh. I thought, yeah. So if I. <laughs> You said that twice now, and I might watch it. And if I hate it, um, come and call on John. I'm calling. You come give me. You come, yeah. you come give come me, and, and you, dump, you can dump a bucket of seawater on me. We're going to have a fight. <laughs> <laughs> How old can the seawater be? Oh, you, you want it to be all briny and nasty. Yeah. Go ahead and make Sitting it all, out in the yeah, sun yeah. in a bucket for like yeah. a few, day, few weeks, yeah, maybe. So yeah, so they'll stink. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You go ahead and do that. I, I, I will. I'll, and I'll be like, good job, Denny. <laughs> yeah. I want to make sure they take those on airplanes, though, because I don't want to go through all the trouble of doing all that and then them. Make me dump it out yeah. at the airport. Oh, no, no, line. you gotta leave that here. So, no, no, seawater. It's for my buddy. I hate him. <laughs> what is it for? Nah. Like, I'm gonna dump it on his noggin. It's gonna be gross. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna have to throw yeah. that out in the trash can oh, right over there to your right. Can, um, I, can I chug yeah. it before I throw it away? <laughs> uh, sir, it's not advisable. Uh, I would like to throw that away in the trash can right to your right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh, alright so yeah thank you for listening I hope we didn't upset anybody like this movie and if we did you're probably still not listening to this episode uh, don't, don't care enough. yeah but anyone else yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't watch this movie if I were you unless like I yep, don't know this is it. one of those movies that you might be able to put on mute at a party in the background and it being fine and that'd be like yeah. an artistic thing like yeah. oh that's a cool thing yeah. man yeah. yeah like stalker yeah like stalker yeah. Yeah, except for Stalker was amazing. Uh, thank you for listening. Go to our website, mission250filmcast.com. The list is frozen. We're watching two Kurosawa movies in a row. Wee. And then we're watching... What's after? I'm going to look this up real quick. Some other old-ass oh, movie, probably. That's a first. I don't have the list memorized in order, John. Jesus Christ. No, I'm just Wait, saying, why not? To, no, it's a first for you to skip two films ahead like this, I think. I'm just putting myself in a nice spot. Because we're here. trying to make... Yeah, we're trying to be, you know... Whole, we're staying in Japan, guys, but we're going to watch a cartoon. Uh-oh. Ooh. My Neighbor Totoro. Oh, okay. My name is Totoro. What That's is a that Ghibli about? film, isn't it's it? It's a Ghibli one. Yeah, it's great. Oh, okay. I might be involved in that we'll one. We'll be good then. Cool. Well, yeah. Thanks for listening. I've said that like four times now. Yeah. Can and we go? Can we hang no. Up? No. Goodbye. No, you say goodbye like, first. Like, subscribe. Talk to you guys next week. All right. See you guys. Stop.